reading. We're going to take a look at your guys' main energy, and then we'll start getting clarity for you, Leo. I don't know about last week's reading, but that was crazy for those who have actually seen it. <laughs> oh, Leo, you had two choices. Oh, I wonder if you guys made it. All right, Leo, let's take a look here. Three cards for Leo's main energy, please. Three cards for Leo's main energy. We have the world. Thinking woman. One more, please. And cornucopia. All right, look at this. Leo, you guys. I don't know, I'm getting some real positive energies from Leo. Just a lot. A lot of real positive <laughs> energies. Um, okay, so you guys are in the past here. You have moved on from something. You've either left an old cycle behind, moved out from somewhere, traveled, and now you're thinking about your future, okay? Your future blessings. What is coming to you? Some of you guys may be me even trying to manifest blessings towards you here with the thinking woman. Um, there could be someone in your life, okay, that you are interested in here with the thinking woman, that uh, possible air sign, doesn't have to be. Some of you guys are really focusing hard on your studies as well, I heard. Schooling, you're planning for your future. Really, you're just you're just moving forward. And I like this. And there's blessings. There's blessings coming for you in the future energy here. This is really good. Okay. Let's get into clarity here. Okay. We're going to take the wheel here. That one was trying to come out. King of Pentacles as well. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Wheel of Fortune moving forward. Like I said, you guys got rid of an old cycle. There was an old cycle that needed changing, needed to come to an end. And here you are with the blessings of the Wheel of Fortune. Okay? The wheel's spinning. It's turning in your favor. And we have here the King of Pentacles. So you guys are really focused on your stability. Okay? Focused heavily on getting grounded. Just basically allowing the wheel to take you forward towards your future. You guys are, I don't know why, why am I drawn to that on this card? I'm drawn to all of the items. I don't normally get drawn to all of the items here on this, but uh, for some reason, I wonder if you guys have been making new purchases or something along those lines. But I also feel here, some of you guys, you may be dealing with someone that is a Taurus, okay? An earth energy here. Someone in your field that is helping you get grounded. Or at least teaching you or showing you here how to be more stable. Okay, one more please for the world. This is the current archetype. Ah, King of Wands in the reverse. Okay, this is your this is your energy as well. All right, so this is what I have, Leo. And we're going to go with it here. Two stories. First one, you guys are dealing with someone in your energy that's a possible earth sign that you have not quite expressed your passion for or you are holding back how you feel and maybe you're feeling a little bit uh, vulnerable about this situation. Second story is that some of you guys have been so heavily focused on your stability that you have foregone this archetype, this archetypal energy that you're used to here with the King of Wands. You guys are very much in work mode, but be careful how much you do that because I feel some of you, like I said, um, are actually so heavily focused, you're forgetting yourselves. You're forgetting which direction you want to go in or you're just, you're expunging all your energy. It might be making you moody, uh, making you feel a little cocky. So be careful for those who that resonates with. Tell me about the thinking woman, please, and the present energy. So what's going on with this energy? The fool in reverse, Aries energy. Two more, please. 
Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Ah. And the Eight of Wands. So there's someone you're in communication with, definitely an earth sign here for some of you, that you are unsure if you want to take a leap towards them. You're not sure if you can trust this. Okay, this person may have presented to you a way that you could work together and you guys are having a lot of active movement here within your thoughts, within about this person. It's like they're, they're heavily on your mind and whatever it is that they are trying to do with you, the idea of moving into a new direction with them for some reason is kind of, it, it's just pervading your sense of self, your mind, like a lot here. I feel with this Eight of Wands, they want a new start with you or they want something like a change. They want to help you change or help things change in your life. But with the fool here, you're not ready. You're you're, you're still kind of in your head because I feel there's been a transition phase here for you, Leo, with the world card. There's been a big transition and you're kind of following as the wheel leads you along as you get move, you know, as you move forward with this new version of you, this new energy, whoever is presenting to you, uh, you may feel it's not enough. Like, it's not enough. I wish that they would communicate more. And here with the, with the full in reverse, you're just, I feel like you're just not convinced, even though they're communicating a lot with you. So tell me about cornucopia, please, and the future energy. However, there is some blessings, okay, Leo, in this future energy. This could be why you're... Alright, three of wands in the reverse. Two more, please. Two more for a cornucopia. Two more for a cornucopia. Page of swords. Ah, okay. And the seven of pentacles. Alright, so... Yeah, you guys, I, I feel like, I feel like you guys are going to move in a different direction. I really do. I feel as though even though this person in the current energy is offering you something or you're, you were trying to offer to them, okay, something, it just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right to you. So I feel what's happening here with the three of wands is that you're kind of going to be making the decision like, no, I don't see anything really happening here within this present energy. You guys are probably letting something go. Okay. And you're deciding here with the page of swords to just be honest about yourself and where it is you want to go here with the seven of pentacles. I get the feeling this person, like they watch you or they, they may commun they may communicate a lot with you about your, your life but you're just you're just not feeling the vibe. You're not you're not jiving with this person. You're you're not really feeling as though there's something here. It almost feels to me Sagittarius as though you would rather head in the up in a, in a different direction. But you're not you're you're going to communicate this. I feel in the future or you're doing this right now. You're you're communicating that Somewhere else lies your happiness and you want potential in a different area or you're going to tell this person, 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 that's not even a word. You're going to tell this person that in order for the, you know, you to feel good and you're, you're going to go after your blessings. I feel there's really just a forward momentum here. But you're, I like this energy and let me tell you why. Because Leo, you're not just, you're not just slinking away. You're not, you're, you're communicating openly and honestly, and you're actually taking the time to think about it. You're taking the time out. You're not just making a rash decision. Okay. And you're not just taking the fool's path. You, instead, you're being more cautious about what it is that you want to do and you're communicating it. And you're basically saying, you know, I don't really see something here but my blessings you're very aware of where it is you want to head some of you guys are studying heavily and you don't want this to interfere with whatever it is that you're doing in your current lifestyle so whatever's going on here in this middle energy with another person or for some of you this is you actually getting more in touch 
with yourself and the decisions that you actually make for your stability instead of choosing to be this sort of uh, King of Wands in reverse energy. You're trying to be more stable instead of like partying and you know making impulsive decisions and going and traveling all the time or whatever it is that you like to do, okay? You are, you are making a scholarly kind of choice. And um, I think some of you guys have been fighting that. You've been fighting that need to, you know, party on the weekends or go do this and that. And in favor, choosing a more mature path for where it is that you want to go. And I do like here with the Page of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, it's like, you're just being honest. You're just being upfront and honest and you're just saying, yeah, this is the, the direction I want to go in. Because you see, you already see, you have the forethought that that's where you want to go. Your challenge on the bottom of the deck, not surprised. Two of Wands, okay? This is about traveling, moving forward, seeing the possibility. So your challenge is to see where you're heading and plan accordingly, which I, I feel you're already doing or you're, you're heading there. So if you feel that this, um, if you feel that this person, uh, if you're dealing with that, if some of you are dealing with a person who's trying to, you know, communicate that they want you still, but you're not into it, if you're dealing with that, you may need, excuse me. You may need to think a little bit more. Some of you guys may want to plan where it is that you're going with this person. Um, wherever that is, wherever that may be, whether it's nowhere or somewhere. The other is that you have the world in your fingertips here with the two of wands. You can go and do and be anything that you want. Hmm. Okay, guys, let's get you some advice. All right, for Leo here. Let's get some advice for Leo. Let's get some advice for Leo here. Okay, we have a time for healing. So there was definitely something in the past energy that was enough to propel you forward with a healing in your current situation that made it so that you were patient enough to look at at yourself and look at the situation tell me more about the present energy advice about the present energy for leo okay we have communication is key <laughs> you guys are really you know this is what i'm talking about i love this energy you're you're communicating you're being open you're being honest about what it is you want and where you want to go you're not letting anything dissuade you and you're just being open about it one more, please. Your dreams need a practical plan. Here's that Taurus energy, okay? The King of Pentacles right here. Like I said, you guys are moving into a practical energy. You're focusing on your money. You're focusing on your stability. You want the cornucopia. You want your blessings. And I feel that's definitely where you're going, especially with the Seven of Pentacles. You know, so stay practical here. It seems to be working for you guys. It really, it really does. Okay. Let's get you one of these puppies. One more message, please, for Leo. You guys can join me down below for the extended. You'll see a link to a purchasable uh, single extended. Or you can join my Patreon for six bucks a month. You get access to all my goodies, uh, extras, and all my extendeds. And that will be, um, if you're one of those people who like to crosswatch. That was the word. I was looking for the word. Okay, we have breakthrough, break on through, yeah. Okay, that is what's happening here. <laughs> you guys are, have changed, or you're changing, your archetype here is changing. You're moving through that energy. You're, you're focusing on this. So for you, this is a huge change. This is, you know, Leo doing Leo and basically saying, I know what I want. And maybe there was a time in the past you didn't. But with that world energy, you walk through the freaking portal. You step through and here you are. Breaking through into a whole new version of yourself that you're going after. 
Maybe you got tired of how you used to be Leo. Maybe like partying and doing all this other stuff. Maybe you just got tired of it. And you just wanted, you wanted to be more practical. Moving into that energy. All right, guys. I'll see you in the extended. Links are down below.